Firstly, uh, this is the TRML 4D. Um, and I think um, radar has developed a lot over the years. Um, this is a state-of-the-art AESA radar, um, which enables us to steer the beam electronically left and right while also rotating the antenna. So what this does for us is as the antenna comes around, let's say you're the direction of the threat, as the rotate, rotate aerial comes around, we can look 60 degrees ahead, take a sweep of you, I come round as the bore sight goes past you, see you again, and then I can come back 60 degrees and, and take another look. And what that does for me, in one rotation, I can now create a weapon grade track, which I can send off to, to the weapon system. Now, um, warfare develops continually um, over the years, and you'll see um, that this is mounted on a truck. And the reason for that really was survivability. So as soon as I transmit on, a, on an active radar, clearly I have to hit the target and then receive the energy that's returning. If I'm too far away from the target, I will transmit, it hits the target, but it doesn't actually get back to me. And now the problem is that the target knows that the radar is there on a certain bearing, but I don't know the enemy is there. So the solution to that, if you go back uh, five or 10 years ago, in the old days, the solution is you rotate uh, a minimal number of times to get the information you want, um, and then you move <laughs> um, so that you're, you're no longer um, on that bearing uh, that the enemy saw. So in the modern age, we have another solution uh, other than making the radar mobile, and that is to combine the active radar with a passive radar. The, the range of the passive radar is very similar to the active um, and will provide me a air picture out to about 200, 240 kilometers, very similar to the range of this radar, but with slightly less accuracy. Um, and what this enables me to do, because I'm not transmitting, the enemy doesn't know I'm there, um, and we can pick up the air picture. And if there's an, uh, a target of interest, we could send that to uh, another radar, which could then just look down that bearing so that it's not giving itself away on a 360 degree uh, arc. So that's one development over the years. And of course, the other development when we talk about these types of radars now is the vulnerability to uh, drones. Uh, whether it's loitering ammunition or surveillance drones, uh, which can then provide the information to attack the radar. So to counter the drone threat, we now have the Spexa 2000, uh, which again is a 3D radar, so that will tell us the range bearing and height uh, of potential targets. And this radar um, is so sensitive um, it will pick up individual birds out to many kilometers. And of course, if it's, it's that sensitive, which it has to be, if you think uh, the drone threat is actually quite a small radar target, um, and if it's five, 10 kilometers away, you wouldn't be able to see it visually. Uh, and, and don't forget, I've got to send energy to it and I've got to get that energy back. So small drones are a major issue, um, but this radar will see drones out to significant ranges and because it's that sensitive, of course, it will pick up individual birds. And so now we need to have processing capability so that the radar understands what is a bird uh, and what is a drone. A few years ago, uh, when we did early trials, I can remember um, the Spex 2000 picking up about five or 600 birds an hour. And with that density of targets, you cannot possibly have an operator uh, analyzing whether it's a bird and then, and then canceling the track. So, the radar has to do that automatically. So this radar will, will automatically tell you whether it's looking at a bird, whether it's looking at a drone, whether it's a human being, whether it's a vehicle, whether it's a fighter aircraft, all without operator intervention. And because we can see those drones at uh, significant ranges, then we, are, we enable the, the main radar unit to be defended from uh, unwanted observation and, and from loitering ammunition.